3D Funny Cow Acrylic Nailer Tutorial by Hot Pink Zebra Polish. Hi everyone! In today's video I'm going to show you a really cute little series and I'm going to start with the cow video and then tomorrow you will see a chicken and then on uh, Wednesday? Yeah, Wednesday you'll see the pig. And it's just cartoon little farm animals that I think are adorable. They're very comedic in their proportions and the looks on their faces. I hope you like them as much as I do and don't forget to click subscribe to see all my future videos as well. I'm going to begin with an overlay of a grass green acrylic just to kind of keep with the outdoor farmsy vibe. It doesn't have to be a thick layer, a super thin layer will suffice. After that we're going to encase the nail with a layer of clear acrylic. I love to encapsulate with clear acrylic because it makes the 3D art look like it's floating in the end. So if you look at it kind of from like a side view, you can see that little bit of clear between the background and the 3D art and it makes them look even more dimensional like they really are popping off the nail. After you have all that done, file the nail into shape and then you are ready for some art. So with white acrylic, I'm going to begin sculpting the first shapes of my cow. And I'm going to start with the top of his head. So when I was looking at different reference photos to find a cow image I liked, I did not find one I was in love with. So I had to kind of wing it a little bit and I absolutely love the way this little guy turned out. So to create my cow, I'm going to create kind of a smooth shape. So the top of the head all the way down to the belly. So I did this section by section instead of trying to do it all at once. Just kind of pat the acrylic out. Right now we're making a very flat shape. It's kind of just like a pancake. All of the levels in the 3D elements will come soon enough. But just get that base shape that you're happy with to start with. And keep working with your acrylic. You can work with it until it's set up, so don't feel rushed. I know that there's a lot of people that when they're working with acrylic, they feel like they're racing the clock. So what I like to do is... If you're working on something that you feel like you're not going to have enough time to finish before the acrylic is going to set up, break it down and do small parts at a time. Instead of trying to create that whole, I don't know, twisted egg shape at one time, just do little bits. So then with a peachy tan kind of a color, kind of like a, I don't know, yeah, peachy tan works, I'm going to add the snout, add his little horns with gray, very teeny tiny horns. If you wanted to just do those with paint later, if you're better off with paint than acrylic, that would definitely be an option. Now that nose has set up enough that I can carve in that little smile and some nostrils. Actually, it's not a smile. It's more like an uh-oh sort of a look. And add the first layer to the udder. So then we're going to add the legs that are, the back legs are kind of up like he just fell on his butt like he was the victim of a cow tipping incident. And add his arms. So there's the other leg coming out to the side. Just like so. Add that arm that's out to the side. I absolutely love cows and so does Melody. There is a farm about 10 minutes, 10-15 minutes away from where from where we live and on days when she's getting just a little too restless in the house, which we've, <laughs> we've had quite a few of those days recently, but we'll take and we'll just drive over to the cows and as soon as they see her, they all just run to the fence and they just look at her and they moo at her and they snort and she gets such a kick out of it when they, I don't know, they must know no, it's her because I always come to see her. So after you've got, we're going to add the hooves with the same gray as the horns and then you're going to go back through and add the teats to the udder. So just add that same peachy color, teeny tiny bits of acrylic. I did four. You just go like that and create kind of almost like a, I don't know, flower kind of in the middle. But then with some diluted black paint, I'm going to go through and I'm just going to add all kinds of outlines and details to my cow. The great thing with making something like a cow is that patterning is really up to you. Cows are, you know, so many different color schemes. There's tan ones, brown ones, white ones, black ones, etc. And you do not have to follow the same pattern I did for sure. You can mix it up and switch it up however you'd like. For me, I went with your classic black and white cow. So we've got just the white base. And then after you have it to this point, you can fill in the pattern with that black paint. And this is something I've been thinking about doing for you guys. If you would like, I would be more than happy to make an all about acrylic paint sort of a video with um, what brands I like to use, how I dilute them, how I choose whether I'm going to dilute them, etc. Uh, when it's better to use acrylic paint versus gel paint, you know, what the benefits are. So if you guys would find benefit out of that, definitely hit a little comment below and I will work on that as soon as I can. But it's just something that's been kind of thinking in my mind that I should be doing that at some point. So at his eyes, 
patterns, all of that great stuff, apply some gel sealer in the background, cover up all of that grass, and then we're going to be applying some matte top coat over the cow. And that is it. I think this little guy is so cute and definitely check back tomorrow and Wednesday for the other ones. Melody, do you have a tail? Where, where is it? Back. It's on your back. Can you wiggle your tail? Ooh, oh yeah. <laughs> Melody, can you walk by the front door? Go walk to the front door. How's that going for you? Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the cute little Melody video. And if you decide to make a recreation of this cow, take me. I'd love to see it. Bye.